when I first heard about it, they they asked me was it in audiology if I'd be uh, uh, willing to do something like that, and I said, yeah, anything's better than what I got. So yeah, I've been looking forward to it. The inner ear has hair cells which can become damaged with aging, genetics, noise exposure, and once those hair cells become damaged, you can't regrow them or replace them. It just progressively got worse over like 10 to 15 years. It just kept getting worse and worse. Oftentimes you can put a hearing aid on a patient which will amplify the sound and help them out. Once you get to a certain point where there's a certain amount of damage to the cochlea, the hearing aids no longer provide great benefit for the patient at that point. The, the hearing aid just amplifies us all the other noises and the background noises, so it makes it so I can't distinguish what anybody is saying. I had two hearing aids and finally this, my left ear got so bad that the hearing aid was not effective, so I quit wearing it. At that point, a cochlear implant is something that we would look at. It bypasses those damaged hair cells and directly stimulates the auditory nerve. We have an internal piece that is implanted by the surgeon that goes down, threaded into the cochlea, the electrode, and then you have a magnet that's placed under the skin. And then you have an external processor that is placed on the outside that transmits the sound electronically and directly stimulates that auditory nerve to provide some awareness that they may not receive with a hearing aid. Well, basically it was the outpatient uh, operation and I went in and uh, they uh, prepped me for the operation and next thing I knew I was done. <laughs> there is still that expectation that my life's going back to when I was 10 years old. So, um, but very, very good responses from a lot of them. They understand that it's work. They, they're a little bit of a, you know, surprise of, hey, this sounds different. This is what I'm, I'm experiencing. But I, I realize it's going to take uh, several uh, adjustments to get it to that point. I'm going to have to keep coming back until, I, until we get it programmed right. And then, you know, as we get farther and farther out, we see better and better outcomes. And I think their expectations shift as they realize what they're getting into, even within that first week. I can go to church now and I can understand what they're saying, and, uh, but before I couldn't, I can hear all those cars and stuff. Yeah. But you can hear me through the cochlear. You're yeah. hearing everything I'm saying. Yes. Because you haven't asked me to repeat myself. Right. When we first activate it, sounds very different and that electrical signal takes a little while for your brain to kind of sort out what's coming in. Is it sounding more like speech now on that right side? Yes. Good. Okay. Pretty balanced between the two, sounding pretty good? Seems like it is. Okay. Perfect. I can hear everything now that I couldn't hear before and sometimes at home, um, I have to get up and go see what I'm hearing because I don't recognize it. So then I find out what it is. I can hear the cars going by, people wave at me, and, and I didn't really know how bad it was until I got the implant, and then I think, well, I really had it bad with those hearing aids. The background sounds are not near the problem that they were with hearing aids. I can hear the, the wind in the trees. As it picks up and I can uh, hear the flag over there blowing too, it just it sounds more natural than anything I've heard for a long time. I'm amazed. I'm really pleased with it.